assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel wow and uh, if you are new here then please click on this red button subscribe and join our family and uh, that if you are old visitor then please press the bell button so that you can never miss my video again i am going to design a three story 3d frame which has span length of 20 feet in both the direction and the study height of 12 feet each so let's move to the software so i just start normally from creating a new project setting the units and using 3d frame template here i have number of stories 3 number of bears in x direction is 1 and in y direction is Story height is 12. Story width was how much? It's 20 feet. And their width in y direction was 20 feet. And I read and I would use the restraints out here. So here is the first view. So now I am going to define materials. So going to materials, just modify them with my requirements and I have requirement is here we have 3000 psi of concrete we are using 3000 psi concrete in this problem so 3 and there's all the other things are the same so that's okay and here there is a steel and i will modify it to rebar that means that we are using reinforcement so let me just try to write the reinforcement and I am using 29,000 KSI of steel and but we are using here 60 KSI so it will become 1.5 times 60 it will become 1 point 1 times of 60 and it will become 1.1 times of 90 Right. So nothing will change. So press OK. Materials are defined. Now I will go to define. So I'm going to add a new property and the property of concrete. Pressing OK over here. Here I am defining it as a column. So here I'm defining it as a column. Setting modifier for the column around both axes to 75%. Same here. I'm pressing OK. Now the column width I am checking is 1 foot by 1 foot. So 1 foot by 1 foot of column and using. Complete reinforcement with the RFT where column rectangular in the I'm taking complete clear cover of 2.25 inches. So I'm using reinforcement to be designed. Pressing OK, material this concrete and press OK. Now I have to add another point for the B. So this will be B and in the beam moment around the main axis is 3, it will reduce to 50%, 0.5. So the beam depth I'm taking at 1.5 means 18 inches and the one bit is the width of the beam. Concrete enforcement we will use to beam and here I'm using this 2.25 of the width cover so it will be 0.1875 so pressing ok and material should be complete and pressing ok press ok now the next thing is i need to define material properties section properties i have already defined it so no need now i need to go to section properties of area sections in area sections i need to define slab so here I will create this as a shell. Now creating a new section, naming it as slab and keeping this as shell can material name will be concrete and membrane will be of 6 inches. So 6 by 12. Right? Modifiers will be same and pressing OK and OK. Now what I have to do, I have to just first I have to assign columns and beams to my member. For that, I am just 
keeping character into the exit mode and selecting my columns over here. But this is look this is the front test. If I press this it will move to the back test and here I am selecting my columns as well. Right? So if I just move into this figure and just go to assign, go to frames and go to frame section and now assigning these as column. So look, column is written over at each of the column So FSC EC1 is written as default. Now I'm so now I'm moving to XYZ plan and here I have to define beam. So I'm just selecting this as a hole. Now I need to go down and selecting this as a hole as well. And on the down floor I should select this as well. So I selected all the beams. So now what will I do? I will just go to assign again and trans and trans transactions and this time I will assign to there. So now look here it's been shown as the beam, 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 beam and right columns. So we have assigned over things. So now I have to assign now I have to assign slab in this square portion. So what I have to do, I will just select over here, click draw mode and select slab from here and just click in on this. So look, I have clicked over here, now I have to move up and click over here, move up, click over here. So exit from this mode. Now if you want to see the extruded view, so extrude and fill objects. So look, here I am using this kind of shape. So I have defined the slab and I have defined the beam then column says that. So now the next thing is I need to select this as a whole by pressing control A and now moving to assign sorry. going to assign going to area and going to automatic area mesh. From here, I am selecting this A mesh area using divide on the area points. So I am selecting this as 4 or you can just change it to keep inch and it will be giving you 48. So just check all these and sub mesh is required to obtain no larger than the specified key to this 12 inches or in feet it will be 1 feet. Yes, so now the next thing is I need to define the load patterns. So I will move to load patterns and I just edit the edge. Now I need to add the live load. So clicking on live and adding this. Now earthquake does I'm just saying I'm using earthquake load as well and in earthquake you cannot predict the direction. So first I wrote here is X. So firstly the direction of earthquake is in X direction, so it can be in another direction. So I have to add another one which one is Y direction. So I added two. But uh, one thing I'm missing here, I need to do this according to my code. So in Pakistan we use UBC97. So just modify it to UBC97 and here select UBC97 again and modify this. So you have selected this pattern according to the desired code. So you can add some other from just clicking on more. So here it's just showing you the dead, super dead, live, reduced life. So you can choose your load type according to your demand. So here I'm using some super dead as well, which is of the tiles. So adding this and now these are more. Press OK. Now go to behind. Go to load cases. So here it has already picked all these loads. So no need to go on. So press OK. So go to move to define. Go to dot combination and in dot combination I have to default I have to add default combinations ok and look it has predicted and it has defined some 10 round about 10 different combinations 
So if you can check any one combination, this one is the auto modifier. It will show you that it's taking dead load according to 1.2 factor, live load according to 1, and x is the earthquake load in x direction with minus factor means it's just taking the direction of the load in other taking the direction of earthquake in other directions. So press OK. So here all of the stuff you see one can you can see that it's taking dead load as y9 and the aspect load in y direction. So press OK and OK. Now I need to assign the loads. So I have to assign the loads to the slab. So what will I do? I have to first select the slab. For selecting, you go to select, select and properties and go to area section and press select. So I need to give and I need to assign the loads to area section on the slab. For that, I have selected the slab. So now I'm moving to assign, going to area load and going to use function. Here, dead load is accumulated automatically. So I will add some live load and live load in I am adding and uh, I can add loads here from code which code command was there asking to tell sound document or I can uh, show it must be given to me. Sorry, sorry about this. So here I will add load according to the document provided by the SCI X ASCII 2007 or you can add your own loads. So I am just adding 40 pound of load on all the loads. So let me, you can just change it on each and every floor by just selecting them. But you can assign different loads on each layer. But in example purposes, I am just assigning the same load on each of the floor. Add up 40 pound per square foot. So I am using kips. So I need to keep it as 0 0.04. It will give me as a point uh, 40 pounds per square foot. So I need to add it to the existing loads. Just OK. So look, if I just remove this grids axis, so look, it's taking minus 0 0.004. So minus shows the direction of gravity, and 0 0.04 is a 40 pound on each of the slab. So I have defined. So if I move to some previous selection, go to assign, and now I assign some other loads like tiles load. A super dead load so if you see it will accumulate that load automatically and it will accumulate the x and y according to the ubc 97 which we defined in load patterns so i will define tiles here and let me assume the tile load on each and every floor is about 20 tips 20 pound so it will be 0 0.02 pound per square foot. So I need to add it to the existing load because this is equal to load. That's all. So the loads are. As next thing is I need to analyze it. So for analysis I need to set analysis option. It is spare time. Okay. Go to analyze and run your model. So run now. So look, analysis is done. Here is our report. So if I just zoom this up, look, it's just showing me deformed shape of the dead. I mean, I have some different model vibrations and model movements. So I am just starting the animations. So, so this is its first mode of vibration. Our building will move like this so this is our second mode so this is the third mode building will move laterally This is the axial deformation. So 
So look, now the building is twisting. So now we need to design our model. So we should go to design, concrete, and start design check of the structure. So what will it show? Design concrete from start design. So look here it's just showing the Various of the reinforcement required. So showing in kept feet. So just let it show in kept inches. So these are the amount of steel required to reinforce our structure. So if I just change the modes and actually 1.65, 1.6. So the next thing is here. If you can see this, its color is red. So if I just go to design, complete from design and verify all members part. So what will it show that two concrete frames failed the stress capacity check are not done. Do you want to select them? Yes, I do want to select them. So I have selected them. Here the red color of these columns, these columns and these columns. They are showing that they are failing the capacity check. So what I have to do? We have to revise its geometry. So for that, we will just go to define section and frame properties. So here we have to modify our column properties. We need first we need to unlock our model. So analysis will be done. So I need to check the section properties of column. So we need to enhance its size. So what will we do? We will move to 15 inches to 15 inches. So okay and 